All right, let's continue this trial. Wait, no, I'm not saving. February 24, 12.14 p.m. District Court courtroom number 9. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. Emma didn't come back, good. Allow me to call the next witness to the stand. The officer in charge of guarding the evidence room on the day of the crime. Witness, please state your name and occupation. I'm glad he's the bad guy. Like, he's so... Such a bad, badly designed, badly written character. I'm glad I can hate on him. <laughs> Me, partner? Oh, I'm just a man same as you, wandering the trails of, of civilization. See? See what I mean? Like, what is, what is, why are you wasting our time? Occasionally helping the elderly cross intersections when needed. Yes, we get it. Oh, I know. You're a patrolman. <laughs> As for my name, if you listen hard enough, you can hear the howling wind calling. Can I slap him? Can I slap him? To be exact, it's Jake Marshall, Your Honor. Howling wind? I've never heard Edgeworth described that way before. <laughs> now, Mr. Marshall, let me ask you something. You were in charge of guarding the evidence room on the day the crime took place. Is this correct? According to the papers, partner. What do you mean? A desperado soul is as boundless as the desert sand and no paper can sum it up. See, he would immediately go to prison for perjury. Or for, like, contempt of court. This is contempt of court. Maybe it's best we get on with this quickly. Please share with us your testimony of the day of the crime. In plain old English, not plain, plain, plain modern English. Not old English. Jesus. Day of the crime! My job was to keep a weary eye on that bone orchid. No, in English, asshole. They said I was supposed to make rounds three times a day, but that ain't my style. Besides, the room's protected by two security systems anyway. If I remember right, I was at a street side saloon at the time it went down. <laughs> hey, great way to get yourself fired for abandoning abandoning your post, asshole. I'm just an innocent traveling man, so if you're out of ammo, it's time I hit the trail. Ah, oh, I can't say I particularly care for your attitude. Good. I can't say I care for your beard, but you don't see me complaining. Contempt of court. Put him in prison. Wait a minute. What do you mean by two security systems? I mean the security cameras and the ID card reader. I reckon even a cowpoke like you knows about those. He said last time, he told us those are the only two systems he knows about. So if there's something, some other security system that he doesn't know about, that might have caught him. Yes, well, what about the fingerprint activated locks on the evidence lockers? Fingerprint activated locks? What kind of newfangled doohickeys are those? Yeah, exactly. He's not being very helpful. He's not that good with machines. Always following orders. <laughs> Everyone's got their weaknesses now, don't they, Mr. Prosecutor? No wonder you got demoted. This one seems like trouble. <laughs> okay, Mr. Wright, he's all yours. Day of the crime! <laughs> My job was to keep a weary eye on that bone orchid. What's a bone orchid? How exactly did you keep an eye on the evidence room? I just made sure nothing moves in the security camera monitor. That room is so still. Even time dies in there. I was just the caretaker who interred the recordings. You interred them? Videos of nothing aren't that useful. When the time would come, I'd erase a tape. If nothing unusual is recorded, tapes are to be erased every six hours. Each time I'd erase a tape, it felt like I was erasing a part of my life. <laughs> This guy has a flair for the dramatic, but it isn't going to do him any good. So in actuality, you don't physically enter the evidence room. They said I was supposed to make rounds three times a day, but that ain't my style. <laughs> but you made your rounds on the day of the crime, right? Ain't you heard a word I said, partner? I told you, that ain't my style. 
Um, I'm afraid I don't understand. No Desperado, I know, let's Ruse get in his way. <laughs> Why is he not in prison? No Desperado, I know, joins the police force. <laughs> so Officer Marshall, on the day of the crime. Just between you and me, I didn't set foot in the evidence room that day. There was a rubber glove stuck in the victim's locker, do you know anything about that? Why is he asking? Sorry partner, I can't say I do. I haven't been in that crypt in weeks. How does this guy avoid being fired? <laughs> Besides, the room's protected by two security systems anyway. You used to be a detective, so you've used the evidence room in the past, correct? Of course, back in the day my locker was a gold mine of evidence. And yet, you didn't know about the fingerprint locking mechanism? Sorry partner, I ain't good with machines. I, could ev I couldn't even tell you how a bike works. <laughs> you don't know how a bike works? That's quite uh, incredible. <laughs> the sensors on the lock handles cannot be seen. It's well known that some detectives are unaware of their presence. Now that he mentions it, Detective Gumshoe said something like that too. At any rate, it doesn't seem at this that this is relevant to the crime. Can you tell us what you were doing when the crime took place? If I remember right, I was at a street side saloon at the time it went down. What were you doing in a place like that? I was eating spaghetti. Not even an angel steak lunch can beat that palace Vogoli's sepia pasta, what? Do you mean to tell us? You abandoned your police duties to eat some noodles? Not all desperados eat tacos, partner. That's not what I meant. I hope this has at least taught you a lesson. No. That's strange. This is usually where Edgeworth says, Did you not want to race this year? <laughs> I'm just an innocent traveling man, so if you're out of ammo, it's time I hit the trail. I want to. Um. It's the tape, right? I mean, I. I know this. his locker was accessing the tape, I just don't know if the game wants me to say that right now. So I'm gonna save it here. Because I don't trust the game! Oh, I didn't read this, check this. Incident number SL9 closed, perpetrator Joe Dark, crime serial murderer, serial murder, sentenced death. Victims Edward Jones, Jason Knight, Edith Kirby, Rachel Moss, Jeb Bates, Neil Marshall. Neil Marshall. He killed that many people? Head prosecutor Miles Edgeworth, witnesses Lana Sky, Emma Sky. Investigation Task, task Force. Executive investigators Damon Grant, Lana Sky. Lana Sky was a. was. An investigator, but also a witness. Head investigator, Bruce Goodman. Investigators, Jake Marshall, Angel Star. Alright, I'm gonna hit him with this. No, what? Yes, it does. Oh, God. Ah, <laughs> oh, here we go again. Yes, it does. You weren't... <laughs> You were in the... You were in the evidence room. Uh, let's load the game. <laughs> Alright, now we play... Guess the evidence. Fingerprints. But we had a fingerprint. Hold on, we have. Where's my fingerprinting file? Marshall's fingerprints. Okay, there.
Okay, his fingerprints. No, no, wrong, wrong one, wrong one. Present fingerprints. Officer Marshall, doesn't it strike you as odd that this you being called in to testify like this? Hmm. After all, you weren't in the security room at the time of the crime. And yet you dragged me down here. Explain yourself, partner. It's quite simple. You left a very large trail behind at the scene. Or to be exact, a handprint. Humph, listen real good, partner. Like I said, I'm the caretaker of that crypt. I pay my respects, that is, I make my rounds about once a month. It's only natural my fingerprints would be in there. I only wish it were so, officer. But you see, your fingerprints were covered in blood! <laughs> Witness, what is the meaning of this? Your blood-stained finger- oh crap, I didn't. His blood was wiped away, however, I, I didn't read it. Oh. A luminal test clearly revealed this. Well, Officer Marshall, it seems to me there ain't a person in this room with a head on his shoulders. I take it you have an explanation then, Officer Marshall. About the blood-stained fingerprints. Very well, you may begin your testimony about your fingerprints. Found at the scene of the crime. Like I said, it's only natural for my fingerprints to be in the evidence room. In that evidence room. One of them just happened to be at the same place as the bloodstained blood handprint. The murderer touched the locker where my fingerprint was by chance. The bloodstain and the fingerprint are completely unrelated. Or well, didn't you know the murderer was wearing gloves? See, I had nothing to do with it. Hmm, the witness explanation appears valid. Although there's room for doubt. Life wouldn't be fun without any doubt, partner. The defense may now cross-examine the witness. This guy's hiding something, I can feel it. Now's my chance to prove it! Like I said, it's only natural for my fingerprints to be in that evidence room. One of them just happened to be at the same place as the bloodstained handprint. So then, what about the bloody handprint? Wasn't mine, it's no mystery. Please explain! My locker is covered with my fingerprints. It just so happened. The murderer touched the locker where my fingerprint was by chance. The murderer touched the locker where my fingerprint was by chance. The bloodstain and the fingerprints are completely unrelated. Unrelated? They're as different as night and day. Kinda like cereal and cereal. <laughs> One's got to do with breakfast while the other's a type of murder. He's right. Although seemingly alike, they're totally different. What are you talking about? I don't see what homonyms have to do with this. Or oh, didn't you know the murderer was wearing gloves? The murderer took off the gloves. Didn't... didn't they? I guess there was the other glove. Okay, when do I hit him with the... with that? Alright, before I... let me like save. One of them just happened to be at the same place as the bloodstained handprint. I I didn't mean to do that. The murderer touched the locker where my fingerprint was by chance. Do I hit him with the tape now? No, apparently no. 
<laughs> Apparently no. Oh, Jesus. I mean, look, can we just jump to the conclusion? Do we have to go through with this? Or didn't you know the murderer was wearing gloves? Wait, how did you know the murderer was wearing gloves? How do you know that? I may be a loner, but I still do my job. I keep up on the reports. There was a blood stain at the scene thought to be left by the murderer. That's right. It was found on Detective Gumshoe's locker. However, no fingerprints were detected on the handprint. Oh yeah, I think we tried that too. Hmm, so that would mean the murderer wearing gloves happened to place their hand on top of Officer Marshall's handprint. That's the only logical conclusion. I can't let him squirm out of this one. I've got to find something. Something decisive to tie Officer Marshall to this crime. Um... I mean, I have it. The locker was opened and then closed. I just... the, the game just wouldn't let me present that. This is the other glove, by the way. Like, this this hand is left hand, whereas the handprint is right hand. So the fact that we have this glove doesn't actually prove that... It doesn't prove anything. I swear... I swear it's this. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Oh, how I can prove it! <laughs> the game just won't let you Prove it. The murderer was wearing gloves. But he took off the gloves, right? Hold on, can I do that? Don't tell me I have to present the gloves and then they have to say, Oh, it's the wrong hand! been wiped. Found a bloody handprint left in the evidence room. The print had been wiped. They took off the gloves to access the locker. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> it I mean that's that's what it happened. He took off the glove to access the locker. Like that that is literally what happened. And the game just won't let you do that. All right, what what is I'm gonna go to the walkthrough because this is ridiculous. I, I can't deal with this. Uh... 
Um, Wait, what? The game says... Oh, oh the walkthrough, hold on. The walkthrough says... You do this here? No. Do this here? <laughs> what? <laughs> Examining the security tape. It, it does say, examine the security tape. The chances of that happening are a million to one. Oh, I didn't press this here. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the murderer touched the locker where my fingerprint was by chance. Press him here. The chances of that happening are a million to one. On the contrary, one could argue just the opposite. The chances of that not happening are a million to one. What? Get one thing straight, partner. You ain't gonna get no reward for me with a mere fingerprint. You wanna know why? The blood stain and the fingerprint are completely unrelated. Okay, so I've questioned that. Chance. No. <laughs> Unrelated. No. <laughs> what? I have no idea. I'm looking at the walkthrough and I still have no idea. A print of bloody fingerprints on Marshall's locker belonging to him. Examining, examining the security... I'm looking at the walkthrough, I still don't know what the hell's going on. Do I have to look at this? <laughs> One of them just happened to be at the same place as the blood-stained fingerprint.
The knife he was using wasn't chipped at the tip, I don't think. There. 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 Like I said, it's only natural for my fingerprints to be in that evidence room. Pay your respects once a month. Yeah, that's right. That and one more thing. That locker happened to be mine. Oh, Jesus. You have to do that first? What? What do you mean? I mean what I said. That's the locker I used when I was a detective. The locker I still use. Why do I have to do this first? All that in there now, though, is a heap of broken dreams. I see. It'd be strange if my prints weren't all over that locker. Apparently his fingerprint data was never removed from that locker's programming. He must have been using the fingerprint lock all this time without ever knowing it. Marshall's fingerprints updated. Found a bloody handprint on Marshall's own locker. Are you starting to get the picture, partner? You, you just have to you have to press everything. Okay, fine. The picture! This seal of blood in the desert, it's just food for the buzzards. Can you stop talking like that? There's only one reality, and that's this! The security tape. He actually hangs himself. So long as my trial isn't in there, my trail isn't there, you can't say otherwise. This isn't getting us anywhere, Mr. Wright. Please consider carefully where you're going with this cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Now then, continue your testimony, Officer Marshall. Too bad it wasn't me in that video, right, partner? <laughs> Why do I...? <laughs> the, the answer is so obvious. What's not obvious is what the game designers think you should do to get to the answer. Right? I got to the answer, like, half an hour ago. Trying to find what the game developer wants, or the, or the writer wants, is the hard part. Oh, Jesus. 